Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. It is component number four of my seven component health protocol coming up next. Okay, component number four of my seven component health protocol is probiotics and prebiotics or fermented foods. Now, there's a lot of people in my business, uh, meaning natural health, and they just don't talk about probiotics. What, are, what is a probiotics? Well, that's the friendly bacteria that belong in the body and that digest our foods. And a lot of people tell you, well, you just don't need those. You, that's a kind of mistake. That's another supplement. I don't know what they're thinking. But believe me, uh, you really want to conclude these two, you know, types of bacteria, acidophilus and bifidus, in your diet. I take them, I take mine every single day. You can take them a capsule. They got them in powder. You can put them on your food. And, uh, this really, really will go a long way to, uh, digest your food properly, properly and give you digestive health. So will fermented foods such as kimchi is a good example of one. That's one you do with salt or sauerkraut. Uh, that's another one. I mean, you, you know, you can, you can, oh, you just t take a little water, you take some salt, and you let it sit there for a couple days with whatever vegetables you put in there, and you're ready to go. And kimchi happens to be really uh, famous, but um, there's, uh, as I said, there's, there's thousands of different fermented foods around the world. And that's just a couple of examples. I eat fermented foods all the time. They're excellent for your digestion. Another thing I do is apple cider vinegar. A lot of people don't consider that really a fermented food. I do, but uh, apple cider vinegar, I take it every single day. I put it on my, my salad. Great for your digestion. Now, why is digestion so important? As I've always said, all disease comes from our diet. It doesn't come from our genes. You go to the doctor's office for the first time. What's your medical history? Fill that out. Any cancer running in your family? You're like, uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I get cancer in the family, but uh, you know, no, all disease runs in your meal, in your diet. It all comes from your diet. It all stems from your diet. It doesn't run in your genes. And that's why I say all the time, if uh, your mom or your aunt got Alzheimer's or, you know, they're kind of crazy in the family, some, they were exposed to something, some environmental toxins that got into their brains, or they just had a really poor diet, or they ate a lot of foods that got up, and this is where dementia comes from. It's also, a, you know, big lack of, of magnesium in the brain. That's another reason. But again, it goes back to diet. But digestive health is everything because it's so important for us to you know make sure that our foods are being properly digested people say you are what you eat well that's true but really it's you are what you assimilate because you've got to assimilate these these foods you know you can't just if you eat an apple but you don't have the digestive health to actually absorb the nutrients because your digestion is is a disaster maybe you've got bacterial problems in your throughout your digestive tract maybe you've got h priori as an example, which is just shows you if you have H. priori, that's where stomach ulcers come from. Or if you've got halitosis, which is really bad breath, not onion breath and not garlic breath, but really, really bad breath. Um, you know, like it's just a stale or old or uh, rotten. And that's what's happening. Your food is rotting inside your body. It's not being digested. And, and when I first realized this with somebody, uh, I gave them a little bit of uh, acid alpha and bifidus. And uh, th within 20 minutes, their bad breath was gone. It was pretty amazing. And, um, you know, it's just one example. Another, another uh, person I knew years ago, I was just getting into all this health stuff. This is good, going back 25 years now. Um, she comes and she goes, I, I got this candida, which is a yeast infection. And so women get this. Well, m women, men get it too. It's just women, you know, get it in the vaginal area. And it's very, it's irritating. It itches. It's really bad. And that just shows you, you've got yeast throughout your body when that starts happening. And uh, the way, you, you know, the, one of the main things was I gave her a little bit of probiotics. I said, try this. I put her on spirulina and that helped a lot. And then I put her on probiotics and oops, it's gone in like three days. Unbelievable, the yeast infection, three days with probiotics, the friendly bacteria. Now there's all sorts of different types of bacteria out there you can eat, um, you know, besides just acid alpha and bifidus. But the point is you wanna constantly put these into the body day in and day out, meal in and meal out. 
and uh, it doesn't take a lot. You can sprinkle a little bit on your food if you like. It's the least expensive way to do it or just take one of the capsules. That's fine too. Um, and what will happen is that friendly bacteria, the Acidophilus abephidus, it will begin to colonize inside your digestive tract. And all these other hundreds, thousands, believe it or not, millions of different types of bacteria will begin to grow throughout your digestive tract. Well, they're all beneficial. We don't know what most of them do, if they do anything, but they certainly aren't harmful. And there are some very harmful types of bacteria, such as E. coli, just one up top of my head. Uh, anthrax, there's another really bad one. Um, there's really dangerous forms of bacteria out there that are very, very deadly, and it's really not usually not the bacteria, but the toxins that they, like in E. coli, the toxins they release. Um, as waste matter. That's what becomes really, really dangerous and people die of E. coli. So it all comes down to di digestive health. It is such a critical issue with so many people. I smell the bad breath. You immediately want to understand two things. Another thing, I'll tell you something. People who have bad breath, they don't drink enough water. If you just start becoming a water drinker, you will see that bad breath go away a lot. Because again, this is halitosis. You're not keeping yourself dehydrated in, internally. And so your, your digestive tract, which is huge, you, uses huge resources of water, it really sucks out the water from your body. And I've said before, very difficult to get water from any other place other than water itself. So don't think you can eat a bunch of raw, you know, raw foods with like, like, like a watermelon with a bunch of uh, water in it and you're going to get water. Watermelon is a diuretic. It'll actually steal water from your body on balance. So it's really hard to get water from any other source other than water itself. But the digest digestion itself steals huge amounts of water. And then we put all these really desiccated foods into our bodies such as breads and potatoes that have been cooked and all these dried foods and all this kind of stuff, you know, such as steak, you know, it's had all the water removed from it. This video, you know, eating potato chips, all this kind of stuff. And other dehydrating substances, such as coffee, or chase us down, or with beer, alcohol is very dehydrating, and so this is where you know dig bad digestion starts. Well, that's where disease starts. It all comes from our diet, what we put into our body, and of course, where does that start? That starts in the digestive tract, and we can get all crazy about the digestive tract and what happens and you put this and when don't drink water around meal time I, keep, I like to keep things really simple folks have you noticed don't drink water, water half an hour before during and, a, and about a half an hour an hour afterwards your meal and you'll have a lot better digestion because you're just diluting all that stuff all the digestive enzymes that are happening when you're eating and this friendly bacteria the acidophilus and bifidus and again fermented foods I love them man I eat fermented foods all the time they're really good for you they come with you know you know literally thousands and even you know tens of thousands of different types of bacteria that are in them but it's really healthy stuff digestion very critical for your health. If you don't have good digestion, you won't be healthy because all disease comes from our diet. Well, that's um, component number four of my seven component health protocol. Join me next time and I'll give you number five, component number five of my seven component health protocol. I'm Bob McCauley. Dr. Bob McCauley, I'll see you next time. Hi folks, if you like my videos, and you like my health philosophy and you like what I'm doing here, look at some of the other videos and don't forget to subscribe. That's really important. Dr. Bob McCauley, see you guys next time.